tensions in Israel and Iran are going to escalate. The day is going to come when, Iran, when Israel will hit Iran. When that, when that takes place and those <clears throat> missiles hit Iran, you, there's going to be a huge growth of anti-Semitism. And everybody's going to blame Israel on the price of gasoline. You're going to see incredible backlash that happens. And you're going to see a OPEC countries forming an alliance that says, we'll not sell to anybody who supports Israel. So America, if you want gasoline, you better, you better stop your support of Israel. And Russia is going to end up blackmailing many of the small satellite nations that used to be part of the Soviet bloc and demanding that they come into a whole new alliance and a whole new agreement. And Poland will be blackmailed. I hope they do not succumb. Czechoslovakia, the Slavic countries, uh, Hungary, Romania, Ukraine, all uh, Kakistan, all these are going to be blackmailed by Russia. says, if you want our oil and you want our gas, you will come back in. Because if you don't, we will close the pipeline tomorrow. And they're waiting for the price of gas to get up high enough so they can close the pipeline to those countries and still be able to function economically in their own state. But they have to wait till the price of gasoline gets up high before they can cut the pipeline off. This is what the Lord showed me. He said, begin to watch the European community. He said, because I'm going to trouble the waters in, in Europe and the euro is going to start to fall and, and it will weaken and it will crumble. Uh, and, I, and he said, and then shortly after that, your dollar will follow. And I'm going, oh, my goodness, Lord. He said, my people are going to cry out to me. I said, when? And he says, it will keep getting darker until they do. There will come times when we, stadiums will be full, but it will be, it will be for a solemn assembly. There will come times when the stadiums are full because nobody can afford to pay the prices to go to a New York Giants game or a Jets game or a Patriots game or a Cowboys game or a Rams game. Nobody can afford to pay the price. And they'll be want, they'll, you, you have plenty of time to use a stadium. We're going to see the dollar collapse. We're going to see a new uh, American currency. We're going to see a new global currency. We're going to see a whole different economic structure set up between Mexico, Canada, and the United States. There's so much that is, going, that is about to take place in this nation. There's so many things. Violence is going to be in the streets. Rich houses are going to be, uh, neighborhoods are going to be invaded. What the Robin Hood mentality of what's yours is mine is going to it's going to spread. And, and all you're going to be seeing in multi-million dollar neighborhoods is chimneys left standing and burnt chars of the houses. Violence is going to become so, so prevalent, the police forces will not be able to take care of it. And even the military forces will only be able to take care of it in the urban areas and not the rural areas. And even all urban areas won't be able to be taken care of. It will be so widespread. The earthquakes are going to be coming Earthquakes are going to change the tilt of the earth. He says, when you start to see this happening, when the tilt of the earth changes, jet streams are going to change, weather patterns are going to change dramatically, and countries are going to experience climatological changes that they've never experienced before, and it will cause the loss of crops. Just one degree change, a half a degree change, can mean hundreds of miles in the change of a jet stream. And he says that when this begins to happen, cracks are going to be for, begin to form in the shields of the earth. And when that happens, the sun is going to begin to rise up again. Eruptions from the sun are going to come, and the energy from the sun is going to seep through the cracks. And it's going to, the day will come when you're, it will wipe out many of your satellites. And when that happens, no cell phones, no ATMs, no bank transfers, no TV that, when that happens. And the day will come. In fact, there will be airplanes in the sky that can't land and they have to figure out how they're going to land because they have no satellite guidance system. It's all going to be visual. We're going to see, we're going to have, there are going to be tornadoes that end up coming because of the changes in the jet streams and the climatological changes. They're going to have to invent a higher category of, of, of a tornado. I think the highest it goes to right now is F5. I think it's going to have to go to an F6. Whatever the next category is that they don't have, that's what they're going to have to have because they have never measured wind speeds of tornadoes this high before. That's what's that's coming. Hurricanes that are over 500 miles wide 
are going to hit this nation. Volcanoes are going to erupt again in the northwestern part of the United States. Cities will be dramatically impacted. There will be, there will be things that happen in, uh, uh, that are just unheard of. The shape of the United States will change. There's many things happening in the world, but I'm going to be focused primarily here in the United States. Drought is going to continue to escalate in the lower half of the United States. So much so that just as it says in Revelation chapter 6, a loaf of bread, there may be bread, but what it's going to cost you will be enormous. So much so that they will have to put guards on trucks to keep trucks from being robbed for their food. The Lord told me that there would be a pandemic that, that, that came, but the first one would prove to be little but fear, but the second one that comes would be serious. So there's a pandemic that is going to be coming. There's a commercial paper bubble that's about to burst in the commercial uh, markets, commercial real estate markets. If you have the opportunity to buy rural land, take it, because it's going to become very valuable as people flee the cities. And by the way, if you're going to buy food, do not buy anything that is not that has been genetically modified. It won't reproduce itself. And there's coming a blight in genetically modified crops that they think they're blight proof. They're not blight proof. When this thing hits, it will spread like wildfire. And so you'll see in, uh, nearly entire crops like wheat or corn, some grain product will be one of the things that will be seen, but also in tomatoes. China's escalation is not by accident. It is planned and it is strategic and it has a design to be the lead power in the world. He showed me, I don't know what city, but I know it's a coastal city, and I know, and the result was from a dirty bomb. And a dirty bomb blew up in a, in a coastal city, and it was uninhabitable for uh, over 30 years. It was that level of radiation that was released. Okay, what can you do? Rethink your focus. Here's, here's what I tell people. I've tried to simplify it. I'm not a financial planner. I just do what God says and it works out. So I said, Lord, everybody's emailing me and everybody's writing me saying, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can't tell people in Seattle what to do and because it's not going to be the same as what people in New York need to do or what people in Miami need to do. I mean, you don't tell a person on the equator to buy a fur coat. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> but, but surely there is something that will work as an overall umbrella, as a guideline to thought processes. And, and he gave me this. He said, tell them these four things. Real food, real needs, real energy, real money. So what is real food? Real food, no matter where you live, you're going to be subject to times where you're going to have a week or more where your refrigerator don't work. So here's a hint. Milk won't store long. So real food. Real food. So uh, you say, well, canned food. Well, yes, be, be careful of the canned food that you get because, one, uh, it, obviously some of it has incredibly high sodium and you just die of sodium poisoning. The other is that, that some of it doesn't contain any nutrition, but real food, something that will last you longer than a week, I'd say at least two weeks. And some places in America will need to have, will need to have food supplies that will last them far, far, far longer. But that's up to you and God. He knows where you live and he can tell you what to do. Real energy. You have to really be able to think through this. If the electricity goes out because your power plants have been, have been hacked, there's, there's a, a virus introduced into the system, a cyber attack, and, uh, and many uh, of the fuel, many of the electrical grids go down, which is going to happen. You can't get, your ATM won't work. Your credit card will not work. And it will not work for like two weeks or longer. So you need to have at least two weeks of cash outside of the bank because, believe it or not, when that happens, they're going to close the bank. And when they lock the door, you can't get to your safety deposit box because guess where it's at? Inside the bank. So you can't get into the bank. So you need to be able to have at least two weeks worth of cash outside the bank. So real money. Now, some places... At, and, and if we don't repent, you're going to need more than cash. 
because cash is going to be worthless. And when hyperinflation hits, it, it, it is going to be it is going to be worthless. So you need more than you need more than cash. So here's my caution: whatever you do, take possession. Because if you buy a gold futures contract, the paper will become worthless. If you buy gold and have somebody else store it for you, it will become worthless. Your paper will not get it. Why? Because there is only in existence, there's not enough gold to meet the gold that has been sold. In fact, in fact, 60% of the gold that is said it is owned, there's not enough gold to back up that. Take possession of whatever you, silver, gold, no. platinum, copper, whatever it is, you take possession of. Now, real energy, what is that? That basically says, if I need to go to work, how am I going to get there if the gas station isn't pumping gas? Because guess what? Electricity runs the pumps that fill your car with gas. Now, that then, if you think through those and you listen to the Lord and you hear what he has to say, then the next thing is he wants you to become an influence. You're an influence. You're going to be an influence to the people around you and in your culture. This is a time of innovation. This is going to be a time of invention. For others, it will be a time of study and preparation for promotion that will come. But for those who don't know God, it's going to be a time of anguish. They will be thinking about everything they lost. You see, heavenly thinking says, says God knew about this. He has a plan. I'm going to go to it. Earthly thinking says, I lost everything. And if, you, if your mind dwells on earthly thoughts, you will never achieve the new invention. You'll never have the new innovation. You'll never know what is going to be, what is going to be the needs of the people and be able to meet that need and therefore see the transfer of wealth into the hands of the godly. The final thing you can do is take more time to listen to God. Now, what does that mean? It does not mean, oh, God. Oh God, 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 oh God. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Please help me. Don't let them fire me. Don't let them fire me. Don't let them fire my neighbor, but especially don't let them fire me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That's not listening. Develop a true dialogue. True dialogue is you speaking, God speaking. You speaking, God speaking. Take time to still your heart before the Lord. Peace is the potting soil for revelation.